All right, it's time for a little love in the morning. Fall is almost here. Cuffing season ah. uh, is going to be here before you know Speaking it. Speaking of fall holidays and so traditions. If you're looking to get into a relationship <laughs> or you're in a relationship, it might be time for a little self-reflection. Yeah, we're digging into one topic this morning that everyone in a relationship can relate to. So joining us on the couch is certified relationship and marriage coach Jennifer Blake. Cool. Always great to see you. Good morning. Awesome to be here again, Emily and Travis. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, so cuffing season is upon us. The right. holiday season is upon us. Um, yeah, Which, it's an do we event. need to explain cuffing season? Uh, sure, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's okay. So it's this. It's this time in the fall and winter, right, where you get into all the fall fun activities, mm -hmm. and then the holidays are right around the corner, filled with all your relatives asking why you're not bringing anyone home for Thanksgiving <laughs> and Christmas uh, yet again for another year. Uh, followed by you know the weather where you just want to stay inside and cuddle and 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 hibernate with somebody. So you so you cuff up, you know. And there you go. You try to grab grab so, a significant other. Voila. Cuffing, Cuffing season. season. Okay. And, and there you go. All right, so uh, let's dive into it. First question from Anonymous. How do I be in a successful relationship without losing myself in the process? Oh, a really good question. Right? So you got to be in a loving relationship with yourself first. You got to love yourself first. If, if you don't love yourself more than you love a person that you're in a relationship with, you'll humanly end up compromising. You'll mm -hmm. humanly end up ignoring the red flags and you'll end up doing things to ultimately lose yourself. So mm -hmm. you gotta be in a loving relationship with yourself first. So, okay, so how do you do that? You gotta know yourself. And so how do you know, how do you do that? Uh, you gotta get really clear on your needs, mm -hmm. your priorities, your desires. So to give you a applicable exercise, you know, if you grab a piece of paper, get four columns, write, emotional, physical, mental, spiritual. And in those columns, really thoughtfully fill out what do you need specifically to feel, to feel fulfilled in each oh. of these categories. Mm, so you make a list. Yep, make okay. a list in each okay. of those categories. Get super granular about it. Uh -huh. The more detailed, the more lengthy, the better. So that's one exercise. And then another one is get clear on your priorities. Make another handwritten list, five to 10 top priorities. Mm -hmm. Order them in priority. Mm -hmm. And this way, when we handwrite things, when we do these kinds of thoughtful exercises, we have something physical to reflect back on. Okay. Kind of like a map, a guide to help us hone in on what we're what we're trying to do. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, so know thyself. Um, uh, don't lose sight of your other relationships. Don't start, you know, spending yes. less time with your friends and your uh -huh. family because your friends will give you crap for it. <laughs> firstly, and secondly, you know. Your, your love relationship should add to your life. It mm -hmm. shouldn't take away from what you already have awesome going on. Mm. So don't lose sight of the awesome relationships and the connections that you have. And also, the people that love you and have your back, they'll have good insight for you. They'll help you keep yeah your eye and your heart on what you need and, and sure. love most. So, so here's yeah. here's my question in that vein, because I think we, we have all seen this either with ourselves or with a friend where they get in a new relationship yep. and then all of a sudden either poof, they're gone or mm. they slowly start to kind of become a different person. Right. How can you tell when it's just, you know, you're, you're with someone new and you have those shared experiences and you're having fun doing something together, but yeah. then how can you tell when you're pulling away too much from friends or family or or, or letting question. go of too many of those things that you used to do on your own? Oh, that's a great question. It kind of gives me goosebumps. So I think that <laughs> I think that when you find yourself saying no to your friends. Oh, okay. When you start when you start seeing yourself saying no to friends, events, um, outings that you used to not say no to, that you yeah. used to really mm. get excited about, but now you're you're putting that guy or that gal over who you used to hang out with. Right. Um, and, you know, I think it's easy, especially in the, in the early stage of a relationship. I call it kind of being on drugs. You've got all these love chemicals pumping through your body. Mm -hmm. mm. You feel totally infatuated with this person. Anything wrong with them, you don't see. Mm -hmm. You know, you only see the good. And so it's especially during that time that you want to be mindful of how you're spending your time because in, in that early phase, it's too easy to become infatuated and and just say screw it to work and all your friends mm -hmm. and be spend all your time with this person. So yeah. especially the the early stage, just be mindful that you're you're kind of on chemicals. <laughs> yeah. You need mm. to yeah. you need to you know even more uh, reason to do the exercises and kind of have a map to to help you know, keep yourself try keep to yourself home those, and on your own. Check, check back in with yourself yeah. every once yeah. in a while. Yeah, yeah. something something mm -hmm. concrete. Great know question. thyself. Makes sense. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. 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 Okay.
Okay. Yeah. So, and that's where, you know, spending time together is a good thing, but absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Absolutely. And on that note, Emily, you know, staying in tune with your own hobbies uh -huh. and interests, because that creates the space and time to spend with yourself and do yeah. the things that you love that nurture your needs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to your point, yeah, you now you get a chance to miss each other and that that longing and you know that's, mm -hmm. I remind that's what all you want. my friends of that when they can't hang out with me because they have date night. I'm like, you know, absence makes the heart <laughs> Right. We should have a girls' night. Yeah, you're like, I have to go golfing. I'm doing it for my it's it's me time. That's like, right. yeah. That's right. <laughs> helping our relationship. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Well, great advice as always, Jennifer. Thank Thanks so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's always it's nice to be here. Always great to see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you've got a question for our relationship expert, send us a message right now on the Coin News AM Extra Facebook or Instagram. Instagram pages. Of course, you can always slide into our DMs. So your question could be answered right here on the show, and we'll keep it anonymous if you don't want to give us your name. Also, it's the only time you can slide into the DMs. Just, yeah. just throw that out there. All right, 812 right now. Up next.